Hello, welcome to Balance My Hormones. I'm Mike and this is Sam and we're here to discuss some interesting topics today. So we all know that injectable options, options for testosterone are limited in the UK, um, but that's all about to change. So keep watching and we'll have more information after this. So many of our clients are familiar in the UK with Sustanon. Uh, it's not as familiar with those in, in the United States and, and elsewhere, but through Europe and the UK, Sustanon is predominantly the testosterone therapy of choice for testosterone replacement treatment or testosterone deficiency. In recent years, uh, Nibido has uh, taken hold in the NHS and more institutional uh, locations, but in the more advanced TRT settings, Sustanon uh, has been uh, the go-to choice for many doctors. And Sustanon uh, has many advantages, uh, but there are some people that Sustanon doesn't work well for. And for those reasons, uh, we have other options now. Some, some reasons that patients wouldn't have do well with uh, Sustanon would be... Yeah, so some guys think on Sustanon if they have a peanut allergy. Um, yeah, so peanut allergy because the oil is, is, is it rachis oil or something like that? Yeah, in, which is in, based off of peanuts. So they can, they can respond to that. Um, some people get post injection pain with Sustanon, something to do with the oil, you know, the, the actual commercially made oil mixture. Um, and sometimes, you know, dosing wise, um, obviously using single use ampules where, you know, the uh, MHRA says you have to, you know, discard the rest. Um, you know, you end up discarding a bit, discarding some testosterone. So um, that's why some people with the dosages, you know, sustenon isn't always the best for them. And for me, it's been it's been a uh, really an optimizing option for me, and it actually was a preferred option considering I tried other options before. But you know, balance my hormones. We've seen some patients uh, who don't all get on well with sustenon. It's rare, but there are a few. So this is why we're delighted today to tell you we've got three different options uh, for those patients. So I think Sam will tell you about the first option. Yeah, so we've got testosterone cypionate now, um, you know, larger dosed in a, in a larger ampule, um, you know, up to 250 milligrams. Um, and we've got some smaller ampules of um, uh, uh, cypionate now available, you know, to our doctors, you know, in smaller dosing. So you can use the ampule, the majority of the ampule, less, less wastage, for more frequent injections. And the other type is? The other type is testosterone propionate for those who have either lower SHBG or prefer, uh, upon the doctor's recommendation, uh, lower doses but more frequently. So potentially every other day doses of uh, around 25 milligrams of testosterone propionate uh, can be uh, prescribed for those patients who uh, need to have uh, more frequent and, and smaller concentrations of their injections. Now, all these uh, are recommended by the doctor and in no way are we you know, promoting one over the other because it's not what, what we do. But we wanted to make our clients and some of our YouTube viewers aware of the different options that, that may be available if you ask the doctor during your consultation um, and if you've had any of these problems like injection pain, um, allergy, discomfort, or that you find it difficult to to discard uh, half of your ampule, we can now dial in your dose uh, close to matching the ampules that are available um, for different for different treatments. So we wanted to make this video to let people know that there, there are these new changes this year. We're very happy. Uh, happy New Year. Uh, but we're very, yeah. we're very happy, happy, happy year, to, to share yeah. this with you. And, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep you informed all along the way. I think a really important thing to talk about is that you know, just because it is available in the US as like a primary type of testosterone, you know, the the uh, cypionate is obviously more heard of in the uh, in the community, you know, social media, things like that. Um, you know, I'm sure if they had Sustan on, you know, FDA approved over the year, over the years, for the last 30 years, we'd be we'd be talking about Sustan on and a bit. It Sustan on is great. Um, testosterone is testosterone. I mean, if I find if one person is trying to promote you know, a certain type of testosterone over the other, you know, it's usually um, either because they don't know how to use it, you know, doctor wise, or, or they they just prefer one or the over the other. But really, you know, I think in 
uh, even in my case, you know, I've tried Sustanon, I've tried Propionate, I'm sure you've tried all of these too. I've tried Sipionate, I've tried Ananthate, um, and actually, and I've tried them in all different, you know, daily dosages, going up, going down, twice weekly, every other day, weekly, and actually I feel the best on, a, you know, a weekly dose of Sustanon. Um, so I think the main thing is everyone's unique, you know, work with the doctor to try and find out what works for you. Um, it's great that we now have more tools, uh, you know, uh, at the disposal of the doctors because of, of what's available. So that's the great news. So we've got even more types of testosterone available. I don't think one's better than the other. You know, you've got the cream, you've got all of the injectable options. You just got to work with the doctor to find out what, what works for you. So keep watching. Uh, we'll have more video and, and content uh, in, in the future that we hope to uh, kind of educate and inform. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell um, if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you.